Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss seed germination. What is germination? Germination is a sprouting of seed, spore or any part of the plant for the purpose of growth. So if you look at the definition, sprouting of seed or spore after dormancy, as you know that after the process of reproduction, uh, after pollination, seeds are formed. After the formation of seeds, seeds are dispersed and uh, they undergo a process known as dormancy. During the period of dormancy, seeds undergo inactive period or sleeping period. After the dormancy, when certain conditions are met, like of presence of oxygen, water, light, and certain conditions, very precise condition, seed starts to germinate. But first of all, if you want to understand the concept of seed germination, we have to know the structure of seed. So let's review a little bit about the structure of seed. As you know that there are two types of seeds, monocot seeds and dicot seeds. Dicot seeds usually contain two cotyledons, cotyledons in their seed coat like beans, tamarind, papaya, peas, grams, mango. They do have a different mechanism of germination. The other type of seed are known as monocot. Mono means single, cot means cotyledon. They, they usually contain single cotyledon and then which contains stored food. In these kind of seeds, rice, uh, wheat and maize, corn are included. So if you look at the structure of a seed, I have mentioned right over here in the diagram, the seed contain seed coat. When you open a seed coat, which is a protective covering of the seed, there are two cotyledons. These cotyledons contain food which has been stored for the purpose of germination of the embryo. Embryo has four important parts. First part is radical, which undergoes development and form the primary root of the plant. The second part is plumule, which is known, which is uh, which undergoes uh, growth and development and develop into shoot of the plant. There are two other parts of the seed embryo, which are known as epicotyl and hypocotyl. Epicotyl is the part of the embryo which is above the axis of cotyledons, and hypocotyl is the part of the embryo which is below the main axis of the cotyledons. So these parts are very important which takes parts in the process of germination. According to the types of seed, there are two types of germination which are known as epigeal germination and hypogeal germination. Epigeal germination usually takes place above the ground, out of the soil, while hypogeal germination takes place below the soil, below the ground level. So we are going to discuss these two types of germination in detail with in different types of seeds of plants. So let's discuss with the epigeal germination first. Epigeal germination, as I mentioned earlier, takes place in beans, tamarind and papaya seeds. When a seed is sowed or buried in the soil, it absorbs water from the soil under certain conditions in the presence of oxygen and light. The seed coat after absorption of water ruptures and uh, the process of germination starts. After germination, there is a part of the seed, part of the embryo, which is known as radical, which undergoes uh, development and forms the primary root of the seed of the plant newborn plant and the second part is known as plumule which is going to form shoot of the plant now in this diagram you can see a structure which is known as hypocotyl during epigeal germination hypocotyl which is the lower portion of the embryo uh, below the axis of the cotyledon undergoes development and elongates forming a hook like structure as you can see in this diagram the hypocotyl seed cause has been ruptured and uh, the hypocotyl is forming a hook in this diagram you can see the green part of the diagram is a hypocotyl now look at the text diagram this hypocotyl has elongated and formed a hook like structure and pulling the whole seed including embryo and cotyledon outside the soil so this seed is going moving out of the soil 
because germination is going to take place outside the soil that is why this type of germination is known as epigeal germination after the pulling of the seed outside uh, embryo develops uh, absorbs food from the cotyledons cotyledons provide food to the growing plants root grows um, below the soil to absorb water and minerals from the soil while plumule develops into shoot of the plant sometimes cotyledons provide food and after providing food they become photosynthetic and start doing photosynthesis to provide continuous supply of the food to the growing plant now in this diagram you can see that the root has been developed inside the soil plumule has developed into shoots primary leaves has been formed which are known as foliage leaves after the development and cotyledons are present right over here which are providing all uh, already provided the food and also start photosynthesis to provide more food to the growing plants now if you look at this diagram the up portion which is above with these cotyledon is known as apicotyl while the portion below this cotyledon is known as hypocotyl so during epigeal germination hypocotyl elongates forms a hooks pulls the seed and embryo and the cotyledon outside the soil and the process of germination takes place so that is why this germination is known as epigeal germination hypogeal germination which takes place below the ground usually takes place in peas grams and mangoes in hypogeal germination i have taken an example of a seed of pea plant the pea plant seed has been buried or sowed in the soil it start germination after absorption of water seed coat ruptures and radical produces a roots primary root inside the soil there is also a structure which is known as hypocotyl but in this type of germination hypocotyl does not elongate rather uh, epicotyl elongates in the next diagram if you can see that the root has been growing down toward the soil while the epicotyl portion of the embryo has been elongated and uh, after absorption of food develops and grows and grows out of the soil while the cotyledon and the seed remains buried inside the soil so that is why this type of germination is known as hypogeal germination apicotyl elongates and starts the producing leaves uh, and uh, radical starts developing roots towards the soil in this diagram you can see that the shoot has been developed which is producing leaves and the root has also developing underground while the cotyledons are still remained inside the soil while hypocotyl is also inside the soil where cotyledons after the uh, usage of the food decomposes by help of bacteria so if you look at the difference between epigeal and hypogeal germination there are two main differences first cotyledons emerges out in epigeal germination while cotyledons remains below the soil in hypogeal germination in epigeal germination hypocotyl grows elongates and forms a hook and uh, pull the whole seed out of the soil while in hypogeal germination epicotyl grows while hypocotyl below remains below the ground hypocotyl elongates and uh, cotyledons remain inside the soil and epi and epicotyl grows into a shoot like structure and then after uh, shoot there produces leaves so these are the two main differences between epigeal and hypogeal germination so there there is another type of seed which is known as monocot which uh, i already mentioned that these contain single cotyledon in their body like rice maize and wheat i have taken an example of a maize seed which is corn and uh, this is a little bit different from the dicot seed because it contains single cotyledon it also contains stored food in the form of endosperm it has a seed coat plumule radical uh, epicotyl and hypocotyl but the mechanism of germination is little bit different than epigeal and hypogeal uh, dicot plants usually this uh, type of germination is also known as hypogeal germination but in this part a special part of the embryo which is known as coleoptile coleoptile is a, a thin sheet protective sheet which surrounds the embryo that takes part in the process of germination now let's look at the diagram this is a seed of maize or corn inside the soil after absorption of water the seed coat ruptures and the process of germination starts 
After absorption of uh, water, radical grows into a uh, root-like structure which undergoes goes into the soil and start absorbing water and minerals from the soil, while plume yield starts to develop into shoot. But in this process, first of all, coleoptile, which is a protective covering of the embryo, first grows out of the soil, protecting the very fragile part of the plumule, very fragile part of the embryo. First plumule grows out of the soil which also avoid friction towards to the embryo and uh, damage to the embryo. After plumule, after uh, coleoptile has emerged out of the soil then plumule starts its growth and develops into a shoot like structure which also produces seeds and the process of development and process of the growth and the germination has been started. So in this way there are these three mechanisms which takes place in dicot and monocot plants which are process of germination. I hope it makes sense and that's all for today and I'll see you in the next lecture. Until then, bye.